All right, well, the cannabis industry is one of the largest growing spaces in the business world, and now Northern Michigan University is looking to help students cash in on this cash crop. It is the first college in the country to offer the closest thing, I think, to a degree in marijuana. Joining us is the creator of this program, Associate Professor of Chemistry, Brandon Canfield. So, uh, Brandon, you created the Medicinal Plant Chemistry Program. Um, I guess some people are calling it a weed degree. Can you just describe the curriculum, uh, what someone learns in this program, and are there really big changes um, for the cannabis industry, or would you have been prepared to go into that industry having studied, um, you know, kind of plant chemistry as it currently exists? Yeah, so well, first, thanks for having me. Uh, I think, you know, the, the program we're offering here is not something completely unique uh, in higher education, but uh, at the undergraduate level, we've tried to take um, some of the experiences, and especially the, the instrumental, the analytical experiences that a chemistry student might, uh, might get in graduate school, working on a master's or a PhD, and we've kind of funneled that into a four-year undergraduate program. So it's really, the whole program itself is, it's a chemistry degree. So you know, it's got a lot of the same coursework we you see anywhere, your, your general chemistry, or mm. organic, organic chemistry, biochemistry. Um, we've got a lot of, of biology, plant biology in the curriculum. Um, and really, it's uh, especially a focus on the analysis of the plant. What are the compounds in the plants? Uh, how do you get them out? What, how do they change when you take them yeah. out? How do they change when you're, you know, producing other products, edibles, topicals, that sort of thing? Uh, it's certainly been an area of interest for investors recently. We've seen a number of these names really take off. Uh, there's a lot of companies that are based in Canada. Your program uh, uh, launched in the fall of 2017, so you've already had some students uh, kind of graduate that have had this. Where are the career opportunities? Are there career opportunities in the U.S.? Is it Canada? Where are the students going? Well, so certainly, uh, well, first of all, you know, we're a four-year program, so we start in fall 17, so no one's graduated yet. Got it. Um, people are midway at this point. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, you know, we're, we're seeing a lot of interest in, in Canada um, with the federal move up there to legalize. Um, but certainly, you know, the whole West Coast, uh, Michigan, we just passed our Prop 1 uh, last year, which legalized recreational marijuana. So, I mean, anywhere where we're seeing these uh, states lifting the legal restrictions, um, we're seeing, you know, investors jumping in, people contacting us, asking about graduates, asking about huh. interns. Um, They're and I calling think you. They, they are. Um, and I think as soon as we see the, the banking restrictions lifted, I mean, it's just going to explode. Yeah, and, and just thinking about the university, your support from the administration in putting this program together, um, you know, as you mentioned, no one has graduated from the program yet, I guess, so we're at the end of the second school year since it uh, first launched, but how's the administration been in, in developing the curriculum and also, um, you know, supporting the students who want to sign up for this? Yeah, so, I mean, the, the curriculum itself is totally faculty-driven, so I think that's a strong point in the, uh, the educational side. But the administration has been 100 percent supportive. Um, you know, we really didn't know how it was going to be received when we first pitched the idea. We thought it, there's a pretty significant chance it was going to go nowhere. Um, but the administration, to their credit, have been very receptive, uh, very forward-thinking. Um, and, you know, we've had just a huge increase in the number of students uh, in the program and in our department. Mm -hmm. And the administration has been right there uh, behind us to hire more faculty, to uh, remodel laboratory space, to add laboratory space, to purchase more instruments. Um, we, were, we were planning for, you know, t uh, a rotating class of about 20 students per year. And, you know, we're already um, many, many times over that. So wow. we, we definitely want to... Um, maintain the the level of you know educational standards that we intended at the beginning so now we're you know up 200 300 students we've really had to expand to to meet that commitment that we've made wow that's a lot more uh, so if you go to stanford you're basically you know expected to have some like startup idea that you're you're getting going in your garage your students there are they also sort of incubating ideas and talking about companies they're going to start? And, and where, 
what, what trends do you think those are going to be in? Is there a thing that we should be thinking about as people that are on the investment side of this, like where you see the students interested in in terms of entrepreneurship? Yeah, I mean, so we have uh, two tracks in our degree program. So there's a bioanalytical, which is more uh, science-oriented, people that really want that uh, experience or maybe are thinking about going on to grad school. And then we've got the entrepreneurial track, and it's about a 50-50 split right now in the interest of the students. So those entrepreneurial students, I mean, they're, they're talking all kinds of ideas of what they intend to do. Um, quite a lot of them, you know, kind of came in, with uh, pretty extensive uh, growing background, um, you know, either in the closet or you know maybe their own little small scale operation. So they've they've come in with that. They're kind of intending to be more on the production side, um, but they're recognizing the importance of understanding the chemistry involved. Um, and then we've got a lot of people that that are really, um, you know, taking the sort of the the original intended path of the degree, which is towards an analytical chemist position or opening their own laboratory. Um, and in terms of the future, you know, I can really envision a future where the the analytical laboratory brand or label is more recognizable or m more sought after than, you know, the grower or the manufacturer, because it's it's the lab that's going to tell you precisely what's in that product and if you can rely on uh, the results the lab uh, are reporting or, you know, the, the labeling that they're providing, um, I could really see that as being a, a more, um, you know, the thing that mm -hmm. consumers are looking for. All right, Brandon Canfield with Northern Michigan University. Uh, really interesting stuff. Let us know if you're in New York anytime soon, and uh, we'll talk to you shortly. Awesome. Thanks for having me.